In today's video, we're continuing our Grammar 101 series by looking at adverbs, what they are, and some examples. So let's get into it. All right, so let's get into adverbs. We're going to start, as always, with a definition. So what is the definition of an adverb? Well, I've got to spell definition right, of course. Definition of an adverb is an adverb is a word that modifies, and modifies is a fancy way of saying describes, a verb. Okay, we'll see some examples. But that's not the only thing it can describe. It can also describe an adjective. It can describe another adverb. Or it can even describe a whole sentence. Now, adverbs typically, this is fairly common, often end in L-Y. So if you see words like slowly, quickly, carefully, extremely, fortunately, those all end in L-Y, and those often indicate that it's an adverb. But some look like any other adjective, so it really depends. Okay. Now, let's get into some examples, because that's really where you'll see how this works. Uh, so we'll start with the most common example is an adverb modifying a verb. Okay, let's give some example sentences because those are the best kind. He quickly walked home. Now we've already talked about nouns, so we have two nouns in here, he and home. Walked is an action word, so that means it's a verb. So you should know the rest of these three words in here, that at least they're parts of speech. Uh, quickly is describing how he walked. So that's one of our first parts of our definition of an adverb is when a word modifies a verb, describing what that verb is doing or how the person is doing the action. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and underline this, this would be our adverb. Let's do two more examples. He slowly walked home. Okay, again, very similar to this first sentence we just changed uh, the adverb here, so slowly is another adverb, and it's describing how he walked. Okay, you can see both of these adverbs end in ly. That's usually the indicator that you have an adverb and not a verb or an adjective. Now, let's do a sentence with a different structure. He crept carefully toward the door. Okay, so we have our subject or, our, and, or noun, he. We have an action word, crept. And then the adverb actually follows the verb carefully. Again, we can see it ends in ly, and it's describing how he crept. Okay. Now, sometimes the adverb comes before the verb, like in these first two sentences, and it comes after. And honestly, it doesn't matter which side of the verb it's on. Um, really, what the connection is, it's a, is that it's describing how the person is doing the action. So that's the first type of adverb. The second type is modifying an adjective. Okay, let's look at some examples. Now these ones can end in ly, but they might not. Remember, that was one of the things that we talked about at the beginning. So let's give an example of one that doesn't end in ly. He was very tall. Okay, so very tall. That's a, kind of an adjective phrase, but we have our subject, he. We have our verb, was. We have an adjective, tall, um, and then this word, modifying the adjective, describing how tall he is, is in this case our adverb. Next one, she was extremely small. Okay, again, very similar to this first sentence. This ad adverb right here is describing how small the person is. One last one, that is completely normal, okay? Again, interestingly, and we can come back to more complicated subjects later, that is the subject here. Is is our verb. Normal is an adjective describing something about someone or something. And then this word right here is our adverb because it's describing this adjective, okay? So these are the second types of adverbs. Now, sometimes adverbs can modify other adverbs. Okay, let me give you some examples of what that looks like. He ran too slowly. 
In this case, the word slowly is an adverb describing ran, and then to is modifying or describing the slowly. How slowly did he run? He ran too slowly. Okay, so in this case we have two adverbs, but we're looking at the one that's modifying the other adverb. Okay, here's another one. She wrote extremely quickly. Again, we've got two adverbs here, extremely and quickly, and they both happen to end in OI, unlike this first sentence. And this extremely is modifying or describing how quickly she wrote. Extremely quickly, not just quickly, but extremely quickly. So this is our adverb modifying another adverb. All right, last type, modifying a whole sentence. Now this is kind of the more confusing type. I do need to mention it as we are trying to understand all the different varieties of adverbs. So let me give an example. Fortunately, you can see it ends in L-Y, so we kind of get an indicator that it's an adverb. She won the race. So this fortunately is describing this whole situation about her running the race. Maybe she got injured before the race, and so it's really fortunate that she won even though she was injured. So sometimes adverbs can modify the whole sentence. Let me give you an exa another example. Quickly, the game ended. So this is describing the whole situation of the game ending. It's ending quickly, okay? These are the different kinds of adverbs that exist. Adverbs can get a little complicated the further you go down, but most of the time, most commonly, you will see these examples up here of uh, adverb modifying a verb. And the more you go down, the less frequent they are. Uh, sometimes you have adverbs modifying a whole sentence, but that's not doesn't happen all the time. It happens, but not as much as this first type. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a better understanding of what adverbs are and some different examples of them. And hopefully you'll be able to identify them in reading that you do in your class. We'll see you in the next video.